Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, this video is part of a video series on special right triangles and it's actually um, one of two viewer challenges. Now a viewer challenge, if you've never seen one of these videos before, is when someone writes in and asks a question that kind of extends or challenges the, um, the lessons that we've been uh, looking at and what I've been teaching. So we're going to focus on special right triangles and if you remember that's the 45-45-90 triangle or the 30-60-90 triangle. So let's go ahead and take a look at this challenge which is viewer challenge number one. So I've got two triangles that are attached together here marked as you can see and I have a 30 degree angle right there. This is an isosceles right triangle which should tell you something. This leg right here is 15 centimeters and I'm supposed to solve for X. Now as always you want to pause the video, try this on a piece of paper and test your knowledge. Give it a try. All right, now let's get some clues here about what kind of triangles we're looking at. This 15 here, 15 centimeters, is one of two congruent legs of this triangle. And you know that that means these two angles are congruent, so yes, of course. This is a 45-45-90 triangle. And as I've said in a previous video, remember that both legs would be the same. And the hypotenuse is radical 2 times longer. So there we go, 15 radical Two. Now the reason why that's important is because that hypotenuse of that triangle is the longer leg of this triangle. So what kind of triangle is that? Well we have a 30 degree angle labeled here. We know this is 90 so 60 degrees there. So that's a 30, 60, 90 triangle obviously. And the X that we're looking for is the hypotenuse. So again if we sort of sketch this out we have the longer leg here is 15 radical 2 and we're trying to find the hypotenuse. Well we're gonna go backwards and we're gonna try to figure out what the short leg is and from there we can double it to get the hypotenuse. Alright so you gotta remember the relationship of those legs and the hypotenuse of that 30, 60, 90 triangle. Well we're gonna take the long leg 15 radical 2 and we're gonna divide it by radical 3 because the long leg is always radical three times longer than the short leg, right? All right, so we're going to divide it by radical three. And in order to manipulate that a little bit, remember we have to do what's called rationalizing the denominator. So we're going to multiply top and bottom by the same radical, radical three. Now what happens is I'm going to have the 15 here as a factor on the outside, but radical two times radical three gives me radical six. We just all throw it together inside the radical symbol there. And radical 3 times radical 3 is 3. Okay, a shortcut way of remembering is, uh, well, actually what's happening is radical 3 times radical 3 is radical 9, and we know the square root of 9 is 3. So the radical symbol basically disappears. Now we can factor out a, a factor of 3 there, so that will give me 5 radical 6. All right, so this short leg here and I don't think I have room to write it in but it's 5 radical 6. Now when we double it that will give us 10 radical 6. Alright so a good example of a challenge problem where we're given some partial information we have to kind of figure out some in-between data there so that we can get to our final answer of X. Alright I thought it was a good combination of the two different kind of special right triangles we've been talking about. All right, if you like this video, thanks for watching and uh, give me some feedback in the form of comments and share this with others. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.